All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a real quick video on this guy here, which is going to be the uh, little SI4732 uh, SDR radio that I picked up. And I did a previous video on the stand that this is sitting in, which has a front firing opening for your speaker, as well as uh, just a little form-fitting tilted up stand so you can see it better on the desk. So I had one comment that somebody had some issues with the switch on the side getting caught on the edge here. And they they had some uh, valid valid points that this doesn't have a way to access the power switch when the radio is in the dock. So I've gone ahead and did a remix of my dock. It is up on both Thingiverse and Printables uh, where this has been notched out completely. So you can access your power switch and leave it right in the dock. Um, this is a simple, simple little um, dock for it. So it's not anything that's going to be, you know, extravagant. It's it's basic. It's got a little hole in the bottom that your speaker fires through, hits the desk, comes out through the, the sound holes. That's all it is. So and that matches up with the speaker ports on the back of the radio here. So getting ahead, anyway, getting ahead of myself there, what you're going to get in the box is... This little guy here. I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom out just a little bit here. Desk is kind of a mess. Pardon the, pardon the disaster. You know, we're all hams, so go ahead and uh, we all know what happens on on desks. You get a mess when you got projects going on. So in the box, I got the radio itself. It comes pre-assembled. Um, I'm not gonna tear this apart. There is a battery inside, and the board for the radio. Um, on top, you've got the USB-C and your antenna port, which the antenna port is actually going to be a little, oh, SMA connector. Um, the one I got has the extending antenna. There is a loop antenna that you can get for it. Um, it's a little more bulky, so that's why I didn't bother going ahead and uh, getting a loop. But let me go ahead and move this guy out of the way so we can get this down on the table so we can take a look at it. So when you get this radio, like I said, you get the radio itself, you get the antenna, which is going to be fairly short. Um, I would venture guess, oh, maybe, 28 inches long, roughly. Um, it's designed to be portable, so it's not going to be anything huge, nothing fantastic, but it does get the job done. Um, so what I've done is, with this radio, I did go ahead and make the case, or the stand for it. Um, I did also do Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango's uh, suggestion in his video of updating to the new, to a different software makes it a little easier to, to navigate. Let's take a look at it. When this comes up, there's your boot screen. It's going to have, ew, I've got uh, a little bit of blurriness there. So on the screen, you're going to see you've got your band, your mode, your step, uh, your bandwidth, your AGC, and your volume. Over here, you've got the frequency that you're on, signal strength across the bottom, your battery with a graphical view, not necessarily graphical, but um, just a, a battery, a filled battery that uh, is there, and then you've got your voltage. Over on this side, you do have some time on it, um, this doesn't seem like it actually does a, a time setting. It's more of a listen amount, uh, but it is something that's there just to be used. Um, so just to cruise around the menu just a little bit, when you click it a single time, it brings up the menu where you've got 15 different selections. Two of them are listed as spares that do absolutely nothing. The band goes through and gives you all your bands that you can switch between. You've got... 
all VHF, medium wave one, medium wave two. Strangely enough, medium wave two is repeated, but it looks like it does go ahead to, to 2.5 meg or 2,500 kilohertz. You've got 80 meter, short wave one, short wave two, 40 meter, short wave three, short wave four, five, six, 20 meter, short wave seven, short wave eight, 15 meter, short wave nine, CB, 10 meters, and back to all. And then you can go to your FM, they call it VHF. It's, it's FM radio reception. I'm not going to be putting the radio reception on just because of copyright problems, but uh, that does go ahead and give you that capability. Let's go ahead and attach an antenna here. This is, this does have a, a joint in it that allows you to readjust the antenna. We're going to go ahead and get that guy on there. There we go. And this does, I've got it right now tuned to 28400. Um, I've got my, my regular FT710 just out of frame here. I've got the mouse right here to, to go switch to different frequency. Let's go ahead and go to, yeah, we'll go to 20. Actually, let's look at a couple of these things here in your menu. Going back to that, you do have a mode. It gives you lower sideband, upper sideband, AM, FM uh, capabilities. We're going to go ahead and go to upper sideband. It takes a second to load the sidebands, which is kind of interesting. So clicking back into that menu again, you've got your volume. And it does get fairly loud. Goes all the way up to 63. I do apologize if this is a little bit blurry. That's my camera being a pain. Let me go ahead and adjust my volume back down here so it isn't blaring. Yeah, we'll take it down to 40. Now, clicking back in there, you do have your step. And you can do a 0.1K, a 0.5K, 1K, 5K, 9K, which is kind of odd, 10K, 50K, and 100K, and then all the way up to 1 meg, which is weird because it does skip over the 1 meg as you're going through there. So a little bit of a quirk in this software. Um, it's not bad, though. It's, it's good software for this radio. I like the... the Capability of being able to see the screen better compared to the stock firmware. So other than that, we've got bandwidth, which you can run your bandwidth narrow down all the way down to 0.5K, all the way up to 4K in sideband mode. I like mine around around 3K, 2.2 to 3K. We'll put it on 2.2 and let it sit there. And mute. Actually, it tells you it's muted right there. Go back down to mute and turn that back off. You can turn on AGC. You can also have attenuation, which I don't use either one. There's a little bit of an odd thing when this radio is in use. You get a little bit of a whine sometimes if you get close to the antenna. Kind of an odd situation, but I haven't noticed anything that's really a problem with it. Soft mute, that's more like a squelch. So if you're going to be listening to something that is intermittent signal, um, like AM signals, you can go through and have a soft, a soft squelch on it, which is kind of nice. Let's go down here just a little bit further. And AVC is basically like a, an AF gain, or a RF gain. I'll leave that turn where it's at. We're gonna go down here, spare one. No idea, it doesn't do anything. Seek up and down, we'll seek through, frequ through frequencies till it finds something that's active. Calibration allows you to set your offset of the internal SDR. So if you tune into somebody on a regular receiver or ham radio, and you notice that they're slightly off frequency on this, you can make an adjustment on that calibration 
in here to adjust for the, the actual uh, zero beat on their, their signal. I have mine actually plus 950. It actually made that much of a, it had needed that much of a change to be able to receive correctly. So let's go up to brightness. This is my favorite. When you first get the radio, it's about there for brightness. Um, the camera that I'm using doesn't do it justice, but this is actually pretty dim. So I actually turn that brightness all the way up just to make it a little more readable. Spare two doesn't do anything, and we're back to band. So let's go ahead and go to, say, 20 meters. Right now I've got somebody on... 14,290, or no, there's nobody on 14,292. There's somebody on 283. Now, being able to hear that is going to be a little difficult because... It is a fairly weak station. Let's see if I can find something that's a little bit stronger. 266 possibly. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit a uh, little bit difficult to hear. I might be able to get my other camera here to uh Pick up the audio. Let's see. That seems like it's picking it up a little bit when they when they transmit. So here's that station. That is through my cobweb, so that's going to be an outside antenna, uh, a little bit easier for it to hear. Um, if I could find my adapter for this radio, I do have an adapter that allows me to connect this radio to coax. We could go ahead and connect it up. So there we go. A little bit of reception there. We can bring it up here too. We'll give that a second, see if they'll come back again. Actually, somebody else. I'm going to make sure I had it right. Thanks, QRZ, KW8N. Okay, so that's on 14257. I'm watching them on my 710. And they're actually coming in very, very strong. Or at least they were. <laughs> they stopped transmitting, of course, by the time I want to use them as an example. Anyway, um, you get the idea of, of how well the radio works. If I had it on an outside antenna, it'd be, you know, by far better comparison. But um, would I recommend getting this radio? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Um, when I bought it, I think it was $28. It was uh, very reasonable, very, uh, very quick shipping. Um, came through no problem, no extra taxes, no extra garbage like that. So, yeah, that's just a quick, quick video on this radio. I wanted to go ahead and get it out there and really show what it looked like to uh, 
to others in operation that hadn't seen it. You know, there's a lot of videos out there, and I'm not the first by far. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content. I, I'll be putting more and more out now, uh, now that I've got the, the whole studio situation uh, taken care of and, and set up with uh, a little bit of different equipment. So anyway, I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you find anything useful, entertaining, or, or just want to follow along for the journey. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the in the comments below. Um, I can try to put a link to this radio. Problem is this one is actually purchased through AliExpress and uh, I noticed that in AliExpress it tends to bounce around a little bit as with any of the, the overseas markets. They do that. So uh, I'll go ahead and try to put a link in if you want to pick one up. Not affiliated, not, I don't earn anything from it. It's just there for you guys to be able to find it. Uh, again, feel free to subscribe, comment, like, share if you want to. Um, I do also post in the community posts. So if you do subscribe, you'll be able to get in on some information over there and, and interact a little bit more. Anyway, I will say seven threes for now, and I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great evening.